everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey, how's the weather where you live? It's been storming here in Texas uh, again. Yeah, I, you know, all the things that are going on in the world, that's what we need is more hurricane warnings. That is awesome. So yeah, got uh, flooding again down here where I live and people running around trying to get water out of their homes and out of their businesses. So it's been another fun week. <laughs> so I hope the weather is better where you live. Hey, while you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, especially if you enjoy these magic reviews, these playing card reviews, these giveaways, because when I look at the statistics that YouTube gives me, 50% of you, half of you that watch, have never actually taken the two seconds it is to subscribe. Just click that button. Just click that subscribe button. It means the world to me, and that's the thing that encourages me to keep going. So if you benefit from these reviews, hitting that subscribe button is your best way to say thank you. Today we're gonna look at Capped from Sam Siraki. What is Capped? Uh, Capped is a gimmick that allows you to present a visual aspect to a trick that hasn't had a visual aspect in the past. Now there's been a long time trick that involves a coin and a Sharpie marker. Well, more importantly, the Sharpie marker cap. Um, you have the coin magically go into the cap of the Sharpie marker and uh, you, you show the Sharpie marker and you, and you tell your spectator that the coin is inside. And then to prove it, you shake it and the coin falls out into your waiting hand. Now in capped, what Sam has done is he's made the cap actually have the appearance of a coin jammed inside there. So now you no longer have a Sharpie marker cap, but it has like little angelic wings on either side to really simulate what it would look like if the coin were inside. And then you're able to shake it, the coin flies out, and then the cap returns back to normal. So let's say you pay your $35 to your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. What are you gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get a very small box because the only thing inside of it is the Sharpie marker cap, and it is 3D printed. It also comes with the instructional video code, and the video is only about six minutes long. Is it what I thought, and how accurate is the ad copy? Uh, to be honest, I really didn't know what to think, and I gotta tell you, if you're gonna pay 35 bucks for this, and you see that little tiny small box arrive in the mail, and then you open it up, and the only thing in there is the 3D printed cap, I think, your initial reaction is gonna be a huge sense of underwhelmingness. As far as angles go, I mean, it's not, the trick isn't any different than it was before. So if you've ever done that trick before where uh, you shoot the coin out of the cap of the pen, the trick is still the same. Now Sam's just giving you a visual prop to use, right? The cap doesn't do anything that your old Sharpie marker cap didn't do to begin with. This is just something visual to look at. So the spectator can get a little wow moment, right? Of, of shock and awe, like, oh my goodness, the coin's in there, but the cap, it's still a cap. Can it be inspected? No, and I would highly recommend you not have people inspect it. Um, for one, it doesn't look anything like a real Sharpie marker cap. Uh, Sharpie marker caps are glossy, and this has a dull finish. Uh, Sharpie marker caps are smooth. This has a rough finish. So, uh, I mean, and I would also say Sharpie marker caps, the little uh, pocket arm moves away. Uh, on this one, it's solid on top of the cap. So uh, it doesn't look like a Sharpie marker cap. Uh, it doesn't even fit all the way on your pen. Uh, mine has a little gap, uh, that is, so it's not as wide as a Sharpie marker pen. So hopefully you're gonna make this gimmick vanish and then hand out real items for people to inspect. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Um, this was shot very homemade. It was all shot against a white wall with text on screen. As far as what he's gonna teach you, like I said, it's only six minutes. He's gonna teach you the coin falling from the cap trick that this is all based on. And then he's gonna follow that with the coin stuck in the cap trick. And then he's gonna give you three social media handlings at the end, including removing a coin from a phone screen. Is it well made? Uh, I pretty much covered that already. I mean, 
I think for what it is, something fast, something visual, it's fine because your spectator is only gonna see it for a flash, right? That's, that's kind of what you want. You want the shock and awe and then it's gone. Uh, I would recommend this trick best for social media. That way the, the camera is gonna disguise some of the awkwardness looking of the cap. Pocket space, like I said, you're only getting the cap uh, and you'll have to be able to palm it, of course, to hide it from view. And then you'll need to provide your own pen and original cap and coin. How much practice does it require? Um, if you've ever done this trick before, you know that you need to know how to do the strike vanish. You have to know how to do the strike vanish and probably in a very convincing way. Um, he doesn't call it the strike vanish in the trick itself, nor does he credit uh, David Williamson for coming up with the effect. Positives, uh, the positive things I can say for this is uh, capped is a fun, quick surprise that would be great for your social media shows. Negatives, if I had uh, more negatives to say, um, the video is just way too short, right? Six minutes, I mean, granted, you're gonna, you're gonna learn what you need to learn, but I think if you've never done the strike vanish before, uh, you're gonna be in for a surprise because it's, it's not a necessarily easy move, right? It's not an easy move to do, um, and it does take practice. I know when I first started learning how to do the strike vanish, I missed a lot, missed a lot, and you had, you know, Coins going this way, caps going this way. So it's a difficult move. Would have appreciated some crediting there. Uh, the prop, again, I've got to go back to the prop. It's just so knacky looking. Uh, I really would have expected something that looked exactly like a Sharpie marker cap for $35. For $35, it should look perfect. So yeah. Um, the other thing was, even in the video, uh, the way that he taught this, uh, he would freeze frame on the moments where he wants you to pay attention. And sometimes when he was freeze framing, he was freeze framing a blurred image. So he's freeze framing a blurred image and then with just text on screen, like this is what you do. And I think in those cases, just make the video longer, right? Just make the video longer, explain more. Six minutes is just, that's just not enough time. So is it worth your money? I'm going to say it's not. Uh, not for $35. $35, I would expect a lot more than a 3D printed item that doesn't look, doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. And for only six minutes of video, I really got to say the price point on this is way too high. But don't just take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. What do I know? I am not the end all end all of magic reviews. Go read the forums, go read some other uh, magic reviewers. I know I've seen some others out there on Facebook. Uh, Clue into those, read those as well. Get a second, third, or fourth opinion before you spend your money. All right, that's everything I can say about Capped from Sam Siraki. I, of course, want to thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. But wait, do you want to learn more about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Of course you do. That's from my Teespring store. If you scroll down into the description area, you can click any one of those t-shirt graphics. It'll take you out to Teespring and show you my magic orthodoxy apparel. That's right. I've got several different styles and colors and price points to choose from, including my King of Clubs Black Roses exclusive Daniel Schneider tee. If you appreciate what I do, that is a great way to support this channel. Thanks.